staying in a yurt, a geodome, and eating bits and bites charcuterie boards. We had a great first time glamping experience at Elk Cheers. Island Retreat. Consider having your next glamping adventure at Elk Island Retreat. Located approximately 45 minutes east of the city of Edmonton in the province of Alberta in the country of Canada. We are providing you an overall high level review of our entire experience at Elk Island Retreat. A detailed review of each accommodation and the charcuterie boards will follow as their own separate video, so stay tuned. We are very biased as we thoroughly enjoyed our experience at Elk Island Retreat. Therefore, we have loads of information to share, so stay to the end. You don't want to miss out. Welcome to Redoing Life, a channel that encourages and empowers you to recognize you are the agent of change in your life and to start changing. We headed to Elk Island Retreat on the second last week of September. Weather-wise, the lowest temperature was approximately 1 degree Celsius to as high as 19 degrees Celsius. In driving there, we used the route that Elk Island Retreat recommended, not the GPS route. Throughout this route, there's blue signage that will help confirm that you are headed in the right direction. Check-in time is 3 p.m. Since we are staying at a yurt, we had to provide a security deposit of 300 Canadian dollars with a valid visa or MasterCard. The deposit will be released after you check out if there are no damages or extra cleaning fees. Then we got our code to Aspen Yurt, a map of the area, and camper information and regulations. We headed into a valley where Aspen Yurt is located in. We stayed at Aspen Yurt for two nights, checked in on Sunday, and checked out on Tuesday morning. When we did our booking, we were able to get an additional discount for staying at the yurt. Unfortunately, I cannot remember the discount percent. The discounted price we paid was 153 Canadian dollars and 20 cents per night before tax. So a total of 306 Canadian dollars and 40 cents before tax for two nights. The build of Aspen Yurt is aesthetically pleasing to the eye both inside and outside. And I like the color yellow on the yurt. The craftsmanship you see inside the yurt is very beautiful. The pine wood inside gives you a bit of aromatherapy and the decor throughout helps bring you in touch with nature. The windows do face out to the valley so you get this feeling of being surrounded by nature being inside the yurt. You get good privacy being in the valley and having the cook shelter between Aspen Yurt and Willow Yurt. The yurt itself can accommodate more than two people so it was nice having a big room for ourselves. The bed was great to sleep in. Pillows weren't my favorite as I'm a side sleeper and I'm biased to liking my foam pillow at home. Otherwise, my husband and I had a great sleep overall. Since it is later in September, it was nice having a temperature control gauge and a heater in the yurt. You also get additional lighting and connection to nature with the skylight located on top of the octagonal shaped roof of the yurt. Overall, Aspen Yurt is cute, clean, and cozy. There's a cook shelter nearby and an outhouse that is less than a one minute walk away. The cook shelter itself is big in size and nicely built. Looks pretty sturdy, actually. The cook shelter is not close to the yurt, but that wasn't a problem for us. I'm not used to cold outdoor toilets, but this outhouse smells nice and it's clean enough and I've been in some smelly and dirty outhouses. We ordered a Bits and Bites charcuterie board for two people for the night we arrived. It cost 135 Canadian dollars for the board before tax. We got the meat and cheese board with white wine. Keep in mind your options for board include meat and cheese, vegetarian or vegan. Your choices for drinks include white wine, red wine or sparkling juice. This was our very first time ever eating a charcuterie board. The boards were prepared and delivered right to our accommodation by Old Mound Collected. Overall, the board was tastefully done. Very pretty to look at due to all the vibrant colors. You get to go on an adventure of trying new things and don't know what to expect. And the best part is that no matter what you eat on the board, you get a balance of flavors as you journey through the board from sweet to salty to savory and spicy so you don't get sick of it that fast and your palate doesn't get bombarded with one flavor or taste. Unfortunately, we both were not fond of the taste of the white wine as Cheers. it was a bit too dry for us. As part of our order, we were gifted an item courtesy of Old Mound Collected. We got this lovely crafted fork. Checkout was at 11 a.m. on the Tuesday. However, we were also staying at the Spruce Hollow Geodome right after. So we got our key to the dome and a quick orientation of what facilities were nearby. We stayed at Spruce Hollow Geodome for three nights, checked in on Tuesday and checked out on Friday morning. Depending on what geodome you're staying in and on what day of the week, you can pay a lower cost per night. Since we are at Spruce Hollow Geodome, the dome itself is located in a less private area and the rate to stay in it during the weekdays is lower. The weekday discounted price we paid was 204 Canadian dollars per night before tax, so a total of 612 Canadian dollars before tax for three nights. The geodome can accommodate only two people. The dome itself and its shape is pretty to look at and it is definitely not something I'm used to seeing. I love the look of the window portion of the dome. There 
is less privacy and tree coverage outside the dome as you can see your neighbors. Once again, we found the accommodation to be clean and tidy inside. The thought that went into the floor plan, furniture and decor helped make the inside of the dome be functional, super cozy and romantic in a smaller space. It was cool to see that the dome not only had a lovely romantic looking fireplace, but also air conditioning. If there is one thing when it comes to temperature in the dome, it fluctuates between really, really warm to cold. I recommend bringing layers of clothes to wear inside the dome. We really like the breakfast nook behind the bed. It is such a great multi-use space. That is a place to eat breakfast, wash dishes, and do work. The additional LED lighting in the breakfast nook and above the bed were quite thoughtful and useful. On the deck is also the cook shelter, which is right beside the dome, which made it easy to prepare our meals and bring cooked food right into the dome. The build of the deck and cook shelter is very nice and well done. The outhouse is less than a one minute walk away, once again clean, but definitely used more as the area we stayed in had more accommodations closer by and more people staying within the vicinity. We ordered a bits and bites charcuterie board for two people for the final day we stayed at Elk Island Retreat. It cost 135 Canadian dollars for the board before tax. This time we got the vegan board with sparkling juice. The boards were prepared and delivered again right to our accommodation by Oman Collected. Once again, another balanced board in terms of flavor. The food was beautifully arranged and aesthetically pleasing to the eye. We liked trying the vegan board and the different take on food that was provided. I personally love vegetables and fruits, so this board was right up my alley. For my husband, he found the vegan cheeses to be very tasty. We both eat vegan but do not live a vegan lifestyle, so when it came to eating the vegan cheeses, we noticed that they came close to the taste and texture of cheese made from cow's milk. The sparkling juice had great taste and we both really enjoyed drinking it. Once again, as part of our order, we were gifted an item courtesy of Oman Collected, another lovely crafted fork. You can either walk or drive to the other facilities located at Elk Island Retreat. They have a shower and laundry building. Here they have running water toilet and sink, coin operated showers where you pay $1 Canadian for five minutes of water using loonies only. You can do laundry here as well. They have coin operated washers and dryers where each machine costs $2 Canadian to operate using loonies only. Also they have a folding table available. Don't worry about not having coins with you, you can exchange your money at the office for Canadian loonies. When you need to get more potable city water, they have a refill station at the building as well. If you want some candies or ice cream, you can stop by the check-in office to get them. Also Oman Collected, who provides the Bits and Bites charcuterie board, have a physical pop-up shop just before entering into the check-in office. And I purchased these Nepal wool gloves from Old Mom Collected. Very beautiful, cozy, very soft inside. I love the patterning that's on it. The gloves totally bring me joy. There are trails at Elk Island Retreat that you can walk and get in touch with nature. Very quiet and beautiful to walk through. Just be mindful to stay in the middle of the trail and to avoid leaves or branches hanging out from the sides as ticks may be present on those overreaching leaves and branches. What I can't get over is how many squirrels I managed to watch during our trip and not too far from being up close to them. I got, I found about three in total. Obviously do not feed or touch them, leave them be in their natural surroundings. Surprisingly, they too are curious about you and are wary of you. Elk Island Retreat is located within a dark sky preserve region, so there is no light pollution at night, which means you get the ability to see the stars clearly as long as it is not cloudy. If you are lucky enough, you may be able to catch the Aurora Borealis or Northern Lights. Unfortunately, we didn't. The beauty of Elk Island Retreat is the different accommodations they offer. If you intend to glamp longer, we recommend not only staying at one accommodation when you can stay at many others. It will be a change up in environment and even in experience. Besides the yurts and geodomes, the other types of accommodations that are available are cabins for more than two people, a cabin for two people. Checkout is 11 a.m. We handed in our key. Elk Island Retreat is a family-run business with friendly, nice, and helpful owners and staff. As much as you can watch this video and see pictures, nothing compares to physically immersing yourself in the environment of where you're staying, as this is the true inward experience of being at Elk Island Retreat. Truly a grade A glamping experience that really puts the glamour into camping. You get enough of the outdoors while still some of the creature comforts of home. A great balance. We highly recommend going and experiencing it for yourself. Want more info on us comparing our experiences between the yurt and geodome? Check out our blog article here or in the video description below. Otherwise, stay tuned for our detailed review videos of the two accommodations we stayed at and the two bits and bytes charcuterie boards that we ate.